What's going on my curious bunch of health fanatics? Let's chat about hydration. But before we do, remember this is not medical advice nor am I selling any product or service. I am simply sharing health science news. I will link to the studies below. So let's chat about hydration. Many of you think that drinking water is the fastest way to hydrate, but you'd be wrong as you cannot hydrate without electrolytes being absorbed at the same time. And you cannot hydrate with liquids that are cold, meaning drink fluids that are closer to human body temperature to ensure faster hydration. And that's about 37 degrees Celsius or 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise your body has to raise the temperature of those liquids before you can absorb them. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that while water was okay at rehydrating, liquids that contain glucose or sugars, fats or proteins did an even better job of keeping the human body hydrated for longer periods. The study also showed that the more you drink, the more rapidly the drink drains from the stomach and gets delivered into the bloodstream, where it can dilute the body's fluids and hydrate you. This means that if you are dehydrated after a big night or some intense training, sipping small amounts of liquids will slow the hydration process. So scull that glass of electrolytic compounds at body temperature to maximize absorption. The same study also found that milk was better than water at hydrating, as it contains sugar in the form of lactose, proteins and fats. Milk also contains sodium, which loves to hold on to water and slows urination frequency. This is known as water retention and is okay in small doses, but for longevity, you want to keep water retention low as holding onto excess water can put pressure on the outside of your arteries, causing your heart to work harder. The study also shows that the typical rehydration products we see sold in pharmacies and chemists usually contain products such as glucose, magnesium, sodium, and potassium, which also assist in holding onto water. Thus, they work much faster than water alone. So what we know is that small quantities of sugars assist with hydration. However, this is where things get tricky because drinks that are higher in sugar, like juices or sodas, might not be as hydrating as their lower sugar counterparts. Once these high sugar drinks enter your small intestine, their sugar content gets diluted, a process called osmosis. This process takes water from your body and brings it into the small intestine to dilute the sugar. What that means is that your body is now losing water. And you can see that osmolality in this graph between sugar and sugar-free alternatives. For the purposes of this video, anything in the small intestine is considered outside of your body. And if you are pulling water into the small intestine to dilute your drinks, then you are dehydrating yourself. So small amounts of sugars can work to rehydrate you, but larger amounts of sugars will not hydrate you. Quite the contrary. And remember, drinking sugary drinks, thinking it will give you energy, will initiate a massive insulin spike to suppress that sugar in the blood, causing what we refer to as a sugar crash, making you tired. So if you had a big night, don't wake up and hit sugary drinks, thinking it will give you more energy as it will only dehydrate you faster and lock up any glucose that your body was using as energy. Water is of course a great drink, as it helps our kidneys and liver to function correctly, as well as maintaining healthy looking skin. So it's something you should consume regularly. But for rapid rehydration, if you are dehydrated, you now have options. And before I get into the top 10 drinks to rehydrate you, this video wouldn't be complete without some science around alcohol and caffeine. Even though drinks like beer function as a diuretic, which cause you to pass urine, they are better than strong alcoholic drinks like whiskey, due to the total volume of liquid inside them. So keep in mind that the stronger alcoholic drinks dehydrate you faster. And caffeine, well the first cup is shown not to rehydrate or hydrate you at all. It's actually neutral, but a second or third cup will dehydrate you. So if you want to rehydrate, caffeine is not a good choice. So what were the top 10 drinks found to rehydrate you faster? Well, from the best drinks downward, we have skim milk at number one, oral rehydration solutions found in pharmacies and chemists, full fat milk at number three, orange juice, cold tea, 
tea, sports drinks, still water, sparkling water, lager, and lucky last, coffee. So always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, second edition out now, The Anti-Aging Toolkit. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.